Russian President Vladimir Putin promised that poorly trained conscripts would not be sent to fight in Ukraine. However, the front line has now crossed into Russian territory and families of conscripts stationed in the Kursk region are sounding the alarm about their loved ones. Dozens of messages from people claiming to be family members of Russian conscripts who went missing in the Kursk region are circulating on various social networks. As CNN writes, messages on Russian telegram channels over the past few days have shown how unprepared Russia was for such an attack. When tanks attacked the border at three in the morning, there were only conscripts there defending themselves. They didn't see a single contract soldier. They didn't see anyone at all. My son called later and said, Mom, we're in shock, wrote the mother of a conscript soldier from the Kursk region. In addition, the Russian news outlet Verstka published an interview with Natalia Appel, the grandmother of one of the Russian conscripts who served in Kursk and is now considered missing. She said her grandson, Vladislav, was stationed unarmed in a village 500 meters from the border. What could the boys do? Go against Ukrainian soldiers with a shovel? She said. As CNN notes, the fact that Russia relied on conscripts to defend its border likely explains why Ukrainian forces were able to advance into Russian territory with such apparent ease. Unlike professional soldiers, conscripts receive only limited training before being sent into service as they are prohibited by law from being sent abroad and are not intended to participate in combat. Instead, Russia often deploys them on the border. But when Ukraine launched its recent surprise invasion, these conscripts suddenly found themselves on the front lines completely unprepared to defend themselves. The Ukrainian armed forces have captured four more settlements in the Kursk region south of Sudza. This is the conclusion reached by BUILD open data analysis expert Julian Ropka after studying video footage of battles in the Kursk region. According to his information, the Ukrainian armed forces took the village of Cherkaskaya Konopelka to the south of the city of Sudza, as well as the village of Plekovo, the village of Kurilovka, and the farmstead of Dmitriukov. The Ukrainian army has captured Cherkaskaya Konopelka in the Kursk region, according to multiple Russian sources. This capture is consistent with the fact that Plekovo, Kurilovka and Dmitriukov around are under Ukrainian control, which is visually confirmed. The village of Ulanok remains under Russian control for now, Robka writes. Ukrainian forces will find it challenging to hold positions in the Kursk region of Russia, which can be attacked from multiple directions. The duration of their hold will determine the number of troops Russia will need to redeploy from the front lines in Ukraine, reports the New York Times. The New York Times cites the views of two experts, Major General Mick Ryan, a senior fellow for military studies in the Lowy Institute's International Security Program, and Serhi Kuzan, the chairman of the Ukrainian Security and Cooperation Center, an independent research group. They suggest that Kyiv will need to expand or hold its gains in Western Russia long enough to compel Moscow to redeploy significant forces from the battlefield in Ukraine. However, analysts believe it will be difficult to maintain a position that can be attacked from multiple directions. Kuzan highlighted the vulnerability of fixed Ukrainian positions to Russian airstrikes, noting that such a situation immediately prompts the use of aviation, guided bombs and ballistic missiles. At the same time, U.S. officials say that Russia has withdrawn some infantry units from Ukraine to the Kursk region. However, they have not observed the Kremlin moving armored battalions, which the U.S. believes will be necessary for Russia to counter the invasion.